pleasant day our dear televiewers and subscribers of DepEd Hour Teleturuan. I am Sir Randolph Enclus of Padre Gregorio Crisostomo Integrated School, your teacher presenter for today's episode. And today, we will discuss the functional groups in organic compounds. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to first describe and differentiate the functional groups of organic compounds. Second, Appreciate the uses and importance of the general classes of organic compounds. Functional groups The structure, properties, and chemical reactions of organic compounds are determined by the functional groups. Functional groups hold onto their properties regardless of the molecule in which they are found. They are formed through a base molecule and an R hydrocarbon group. Functional groups are further divided into four groups, which are hydroxyl, carbonyl, carboxyl, and amino group. Hydroxyl group consists of alcohols and ethers. Carbonyl group includes aldehydes and ketones. Carboxyl group can be carboxylic acids and esters. Amino group are classified into amides and amides. Alcohols An alcohol is an organic compound commonly used as reagents, solvents, and fuels. It is colorless and also transparent. It has an OH group attached to a single bond alkane. The four most common alcohols are methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, propyl alcohol, and isopropyl alcohol. Uses of alcohols Ethanol with the chemical formula C2H5OH is the most commonly used alcohol. It is produced through the fermentation and is consumed by humans through alcoholic beverages. On the other hand, methanol or CH3OH is the simplest alcohol and is obtained from the distillation of wood and therefore called as the wood alcohol. Unlike ethanol, methanol is extremely toxic. It can cause blindness once sipped, even in the little amount. Ethers Ether structure contains two alkyl groups joined in one oxygen. Ethers can act much like alkanes. They burn and split apart when boiled in concentrated acids. A typical example of ether is the ethyl ether, or simply ether, which has the chemical formula CH3, CH2O, CH2, CH3. It was once called as the sweet oil of vitriol. Another example of it is methyl phenyl ether, or an anisole, which is a major constituent of oil of anise seed. Uses of ethers. Different ethers have diverse uses but most are useful as solvents. Diethyl ether is used as anesthetic for surgical procedures while dimethyl ether is used as refrigerant and aerosol spray propellant. Now let's go with aldehydes. Aldehyde is a functional group consists of a carbonyl bonded to a hydrogen atom and an R group. The term aldehyde comes from the word alcohol dehydrogenated. The simplest aldehyde is the formaldehyde or methanol. Uses of aldehydes Aldehydes contribute to favorable odors of essential oils like cilantro and vanillin. The methanol or formaldehyde is used as disinfectant and preservative with a pungent odor common in hospitals and morgues. Ketones. A ketone is a functional group characterized by a carbonyl group O double band with C linked to two other carbon atoms. It can be generally represented by formula RCOR where the two R's are alkyl groups. Ketones differ from aldehydes in that the carbonyl is placed between two carbons rather than at the end of a carbon skeleton. Acetone or propanone is the simplest example of a ketone. The word ketone was derived from acetone, an old German word for 
acetone. Uses of ketones. Ketones are often used in perfumes and paints to stabilize the other regions so that they do not degrade as quickly over time. Acetone is a commonly used solvent and is the active ingredient in nail polish remover and some paint thinners. Likewise, butanone, also known as methyl ethyl ketone or MEK, is a colorless liquid and a sharp, sweet odor reminiscent of uh, butterscotch and acetone. It is produced industrially on a large scale and also occurs in trace amounts in nature. It is soluble in water and is commonly used as an industrial solvent. Carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are characterized by the presence of carboxyl group. A carboxyl group is a functional group with the carbonyl C double bond with O and the hydroxyl R uh, bonded with OH, which has the general formula COOH. Acids having two carboxyl groups are called dicarboxylic. A good example of this is oxalic acid or COOH2. This acid is used as a cleansing agent. Uses of carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are used in the production of polymers, pharmaceuticals, solvents, and food additives. Other uses of carboxylic acids are indicated in the table here. Esters. Ester is a product formed in the reaction between a carboxylic acid and alcohol. Its chemical reaction is represented here. Alcohol plus carboxylic acid will yield ester plus water. The name ester is derived from the German Essig ether, word which is an old name for acetic acid ethyl ester. Esters, mostly found in fruits, are characterized by having a very sweet fruity smell. Uses of esters. Due to this, their distinct odors, esters are widely used as artificial flavorings and fragrance. This table gives you the list of esters and their corresponding fragrance. Amines. Amines are organic compounds containing a functional group of basic nitrogen atom. They are derivatives of ammonia or NH3 where one or more hydrogen atoms are replaced by an R group. Uses of amines. Most neurotransmitters are amines. Examples are epinephrine, dopamine, and histamine. Other amines include chlorpeniramine and chlorpromazine. Chlorpeniramine helps relieve allergic disorder due to cold, itchy skin, and insect bites. Likewise, the chlorpromazine is used as tranquilizers that relieves anxiety, excitement, and restlessness. Amides. Amides contain a functional group consisting of a carbo uh, carbonyl group linked to a nitrogen atom. They are formed from the reaction of a carboxylic acid and an amine. The simplest organic amide is methanamide. Uses of amides. Most drugs are amides, including the penicillin, abbreviated PCN or PEN. Penicillin was discovered in 1928 by a Scottish scientist named Alexander Fleming. Today, penicillin is widely used as antibiotic to treat bacterial infections. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed learning the functional groups of organic compounds. This has been Randolph and Bruce of PG Chrysostomo Integrated School. Till our next episode, my dear grade 9, God bless and stay healthy.